you've got to treat that as a fence, haven't you? Um, although it's a hazard um, and it's not necessarily flagged as a, as, as a fence, you've still got to be very respectful of it. He won't be penalised for it. It'll have just added a few additional seconds. Through the really picturesque lake for the first time. Oh, that's very good from Julia. You know, that's a difficult fence again. We talk about, you were just talking about riding terrain, Nicola, you, you, because, because we, you have to, but trying to get the horse... Um, this for his head, wasn't he? And choosing to take the left-handed route to turn back to the log, which the riders have that choice. Oh, Julia kept coming off the no-trot step there. Ardeo Berlin is on it. Look at these ears. Look at him go. Oh, when he's quick-footed, you know, brilliant. This horse loves the job, Quick he? in his mind, isn't he, and quick in his feet. Let's hope we haven't said something we shouldn't have done. So if you are just tuning in... Um, but it does follow the, the Cotsmore leap. It is at the highest point on the course and, and, and well into the course. The touch on top, he really got the balance back on the hind legs. Um, James's horse just wouldn't come back on the hind legs for him and, and, and we just were a little bit careless through it. And that's where those safety, uh, you know, clip, min clips come into their own, and that's why they're involved in the sport, you know, to, to, give, to give the horses a chance to find their legs, and he'll, he'll be given 11 penalties, but he'll be able to carry on with the rest of this, his course. Yeah, absolutely. And the thing about Burley as well, there's so many moments and, and things that you'll never, you, you really can't train. I mean, you can, you can train the foundation and you can train the fitness and the horse and all the questions, but coming to that dairy man, that type... And James has sort of kept... He's kept the rhythm up the whole way. I mean, he, he's he's going to have those 11 penalties to to contend with. Now here's a bouncy little four. That's what I thought when I walked the course. I thought that could be on the cards for me. Um, Julius was actually not dissimilar to mine. All three elements, and the the sport is so competitive in all three elements. If you don't start at the top of the leaderboard, you know you you're you're really having to fight to get back up there. Now this will be a, a question because this is a long two, and this horse isn't super big striding. And look at Julia, brilliant riding. She said she knew it was long, um, but the horse really responded when she said, there you go, go on, take the big shot. You know, and she got quite up to that, the, the first. Julia Norman, the uh, rider recently declared for Zimbabwe with Ardeo Berlin from the Ardeo Sport Horse Programme in County Wicklow. Sees that beautiful shot over Cotsmore Leap and comes back to the Fairfax and Favour combination now. This is a rider who's really starting to, to, to make a name for herself in the sport, I think. She came over to Ball and Dennis with a lot of younger horses and was really competitive in the three stars. Now, they would all be a bit more... Comp That's the next thing. Tim Price then wants to be trying to get a zero score on the final day out of this horse. Julia Norman, Ardeo Berlin, they come up out of Capabilities Cutting, named after the famous landscape designer Capability Brown, who uh, made this sort of beautiful, natural-looking park here for the Marcuses of Exeter at Burley Park. They get those couple of strides as they come up to the Rolex corner out of capabilities cutting, and here you just see her balancing down the hill, and then she sees her spot and pushes, pushes, pushes to the Argria slate mine, and now balancing again to this fence that comes up just before the 10-minute marker effect on spot.